Everyone knows the beloved Z, whether it's the 240Z or the 280Z, but let's talk about the new 400Z and how it rivals against the old Z platforms. The 240Z wheelbase is 2,305 millimeters or 90.7 inches, the 280Z follows as the same, and the 400Z is 2,550.1 millimeters or 100.4 inches. The 240Z length is 4,140 millimeters or 163.0 inches, the 280Z being slightly longer at 4,396.7 millimeters or 173.1 inches, and the 400Z being slightly shorter than the 280Z of 4,378.9 millimeters or 172.4 inches. 240Z's height is 1,283 millimeters or 50.5 inches. The 280Z follows as the same. The new 400Z is 1,315.7 millimeters or 51.8 inches. The 240Z width is 1,630 millimeters or 64.2 inches. Once again, 280Z follows as the same. 400Z width is 1,000. 884 millimeters or 72.6 inches making it just a little bit wider the horsepower of the 240z is 151 brake horsepower and 146 foot pounds of torque and a 2.4 liter naturally aspirated inline six the 280z is 171 brake horsepower and 163 foot pounds of torque with a naturally aspirated 2.8 liter inline six the 400Z is estimated, I can't give you the actual, it's estimated to be 400 horsepower and 350 foot-pounds of torque with a 3-liter twin-turbo V6. Now the weight of all three, the 240Z is 2,302 pounds, making it the lightest of the bunch. The 280Z is 2,875 pounds, and the 400Z is a whopping 3,500-pound estimate. Now the retail price between these cars is you can get a 240Z base, $26,000, fully optioned at $34,000. The 280Z follows in the same footsteps. The 400Z retail price is $34,995 to $40,000. So, which one do I personally think is better? I think the new 400Z is better because it's boosted, it comes six-speed manual, it's finally switching to a V6 platform instead of an inline six. It does weigh damn near a thousand pounds more but the price is about the same as the retail price on the 240z so i think the new 400z would be a better option altogether